Hey, what's up everybody? This is John from PhoneDog.com and today I'm taking a look at Sony Ericsson's W995A telephone. And the video you're seeing right now was made with the phone. I'm going to switch over to my camcorder now so we can take a look at the device. All right, so let's start with a quick tour around the outside of the phone here. First, I want to show you the 950 mAh battery. You have to take the back off in order to change the 8 gigabyte memory stick, M2. Snap this back on here. And you'll see that the lanyard clip point is on a hinge, which I think is really handy. And I'll throw in a quick little video at the end that shows why I like that so much. On the left side of the phone, you have the proprietary Sony Ericsson data and power port. You have a dedicated Walkman button. On the right side of the phone, you have three Walkman controls, skip, track in each direction, pause and play, a volume rocker, and a camera button. At the top, there's a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, which is great to see. On the front, you have four soft keys. You have set and end, uh, play, pause, slash, menu, enter key, a D-pad, QVGA screen, 320 by 240, at 2.6 inches. And this is an unlocked phone that should work uh, just about everywhere. Let's see, I'm going to have to read the spec sheet here for you. For UMTS, HSPA, it has 850, 1900, and 2100. I think that's only missing the uh, 1700 upload band. I'm not too sure on that. Um, GSM, GPRS, and Edge it has 850, 900, 1800, and 1900. So it's a world roaming phone. And I'm not going to be doing video of the MediaGo software that came with the phone. I'll cover that in my written review, which will come out in the next couple of days. Uh, it's the same media software that comes with the PSP. And that makes it easy just to uh, drag and drop files to transfer between the phone and the computer. See the cool holographic Walkman stamp there. There's a quick side-by-side -side with the G1, the W995A, and an iPod Touch. And a quick look at the differences in thickness. So there you go. Let's get over to the cave cam here so we can take a close-up look at the software. The first aspect of the phone I'd like to take a look at is the music player. This is a Sony Ericsson Walkman device, and they have some pretty rigorous standards that have to be met before a phone can bear this symbol here. So there's a dedicated media button here. There are also dedicated media controls on the side, as I showed you. I'm just going to go into my artists here. And let's select Skip Spence. Okay, now because I have this song on here without any kind of uh, digital rights management, I can share it. So if I go to Options, File, Send, I can choose between as an MMS, as an email, or via Bluetooth. And there's John Walton's Mac Mini. And if I select it, I'm going to get a pop-up on my Macintosh, which you'll see here. And I just have to accept the transfer. And there you can see the progress on the phone and on the Macintosh. So you have your controls up front here. Here's pause and play. Up and down just give you information on the artist. And this is how you skip tracks. Just left and right here. And of course you have the dedicated buttons here. And as you can see the accelerometer works in the music player. And if you go into the settings of the music player you can go into a very nice equalizer which has presets, different types of music, if you're really into music, kind of an audio file, you can get into the equalizer and do it manually and change your uh, frequencies individually. Of course, this is nothing you would want to listen to like this, but just an example. There's always something cool going on in the background on this phone. But let's check out visualization. And you can see a preview of the equalizer settings I'm using next to the visualizations here. So that's a very nice music player. So not only does it have the standard 3.5mm headphone jack at the top, there's also an adapter, which I don't have because this is a demo unit, but it plugs into the power and data port and then can facilitate a second set of headphones. It's something that Sony Ericsson calls the couples feature. So that's a nice thing to be able to do. Now I should also point out that this phone has stereo speakers, one at the top of the phone, one at the bottom. So if you turn it sideways, you're getting your right speaker, left speaker here, and the stereo is uh, fantastic. It sounds great. High quality speakers. Again, you don't get the Walkman brand on uh, just any old music player. 
Now one of the reasons I decided I needed to do a written review in addition to the video review of this phone is because of the camera features. I'm not going to be posting any uncompressed 8 megapixel images, but um, I think I do need to, uh, to post some kind of example for you to see the uh, quality of the photos you can take with this phone. So if I go into my photos here, you can view by tags, by album, you can view photo feeds, uh, just the latest images. I'm going to go into my camera album and I'm just using the built-in memory here but the phone does ship with an 8 gigabyte card memory stick. So they're separated by month and if I go into the first one here I don't know if you can, well you'll see the stars up there go into landscape mode here you can see the stars up in the corner of the picture that means that this is tagged as a favorite favorite is just the default tag that comes uh, preset on the phone. If you hit your D-pad you'll see your options here. You can go left and right to scroll through your photos and you can see that little envelope there. If I hit up I have the option to send this as an MMS in an email to a website which includes Blogger, Picasa, MySpace and you can add your own website or I can send it via Bluetooth as I did with this song. It works the same way. So let's go through here and uh, find an image that is not tagged. The way you can tell if it's tagged is by a little icon in the upper left hand corner there. Now if I hit the down button for tag, it's going to ask me if I want to assign one of my pre-existing tags to it. If I hit options then I can create a new tag or delete a tag. I'm going to select touch. It's part of my iPod touch gallery so that's been assigned. So if I go back to the main menu of my photos and I want to view by tag, I'm going to select touch. I've only assigned it to three pictures even though there's more images there. And you can see how nicely that works. Easy organization. The images can be geotagged. You'll see that you can view them on a map. You can directly print these. You can order prints from Snapfish. There's pan and zoom. Photo fix, let's do one of these here. So that's just an automatic photo fixing utility. Edit in Photo DJ. So there you can do things manually rather than just an automatic sort of overall improvement. This is an 8.1 megapixel camera with video. It has uh, image and video stabilization, face detection, and something that Sony Ericsson calls smile shutter. So if you have, let's say, three or four people in the picture and you're trying to get them all to smile, first the face detection will kick in and uh, identify the individual faces, and then when everybody's smiling, it will cause the shutter to snap at that instant. So for those hard to catch uh, moments, that's pretty handy. And you're not going to see much here because I have the phone in the cave cam, but I just wanted to show you the interface for taking photos. Uh, like I said, this did not ship with a memory stick, but I do have the phone's internal memory. So over on the right there, you can see I'm selecting between playing existing files, oops, go back, new video or still images. And I'm losing focus a little bit here because there's nothing on the phone. This is the camcorder interface. And I'll just take a quick video for you guys. And now in playback mode, I can go right and left to uh, select which video file I'm going to view. There it is with no light. And here it is in night mode because I'm in a dark area of the apartment. Say hi, buddy. So there's an overview of the camera application. Be sure to check out the written review for more details on that. I've become really reliant on these uh, Walmart key clips, which I get for about 97 cents, and that's what I use to carry my keys every day. And what's cool about this phone is the lanyard clip point that flips up here fits perfectly on this key clip. Um, I wouldn't recommend that you put your keys and phone on the key clip at the same time because you're going to get the phone all scratched up. But for a device of this size, it's perfect to hang right there. Uh, makes it really accessible unnoticeable to myself almost and I'm sure to anybody else I've got my pockets free and I'm not I know I'm not going to lose it. it's not gonna fall out of my pocket and then uh, be thrown to the pavement when I get out of a car or something like that I forgot to film the ending thanks for watching everybody take care